Happy Sniper Boy here. Today's video is going to be a special collaboration with many other people on YouTube. So, I'll tell you about that later. This time, let's begin with this game, Ecosystem, which so far on the title screen alone it looks gorgeous. So, oh wow. So this is the demo version, so let's do OK for that. So it'll be a tutorial, I guess. OK, so this will be, this is the movement as it is in most games. OK, that's good. Let's see what we can do. Oh, there we go. Click on, clicking on the mouse button on the right, you can move the camera like so. Okay. Warp to a location. Okay, that's good. I have a feeling this area is going to be pretty decent as far as growing things. Okay, so F2 is the food menu see what we got here. I want to tell you a little bit about what each thing does I guess over here to help you uh, do whatever it is you're doing. Okay so let's put a little bit more and let's do a little bit of a variation for different types of plants. As you can see in the upper corner up here, um, cost food points, which is blinking there. So there must be some way to replenish that somehow. Seagrass. Okay, F3 now. There we go. <clears throat> A batch of 30 creatures. Okay then. Let's put these here. Try a different species. continue with the herbivores and move over a little bit to give more room oh that's nice life points okay so Good to know. You can also use the arrow buttons to move around, not just the WASD. Okay, so interact with the creatures, huh? Okay, let's see what. Let's do the boost one. Boost to that one. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Oh, you can drag them. That's what that means, huh? Oh, what was that? Huh. Let's do some more 
alternate life here. So I guess these tell you what you're able to do. Insufficient. Oh, I see. Nutrient points. Good to know. Mm, C fan. I'm out of points. Terrain then, you eh? So, stone terrain. Let's see. Hey, that's pretty cool. Don't know what I'm doing, I'm just doing stuff. Totally random. Ah. Let's move that over here, like so. So, um... So I'll do that over there. Okay, I got a new one of these. So, too bad you cannot zoom in. That would be pretty cool. And my laptop is starting to overheat already, unfortunately. Is there a way to get food points, I wonder. Okay, so, yellow grass. again. Okay. Muddy sand. And what's the last one? Tall grass. Okay then. So let's see what we can do. Let's do some boosting here. Okay, so well, it gives you a global log of what's going on. Let's do more boosting, eh? Try to. There we go. some way over here. This video is in collaboration with Mr. Beast's Team Seas project, where the goal is to raise $30 million to help clean up with the oceans and rivers around the world. If you can donate to TeamSeas.org, even if it's only a dollar, it'll help immensely. We only have one planet to inhabit, and we have to do everything we can to take care of it.
For many decades, trash has been thrown into the water sources across the planet, and that has led to the devastation of wildlife and marine life on our beautiful Earth. I don't know about you, but I do not want to see the destruction of any more coral reefs, nor the extinction of any more species on the planet. The ocean is vast, with millions of living creatures inhabiting it. We've all enjoyed the beach for one occasion or another, whether it's for engagements, weddings, class trips, or even just enjoying the sunset. The rivers are a major issue as well, because rivers eventually lead into the ocean. And if there is trash in the rivers, that trash will be sent into the ocean through the currents of the water. So, I hope you take some time out of your day, even an hour, to help clean up the beaches and rivers near you. Let's clean our planet up for the future generations to enjoy. So, YouTubers are teaming up with Team Seas in order to clean up our oceans and rivers. I'll let Mr. Beast ex explain further. Take it away, Mr. Beast. We've spent the last eight months working with the most trusted nonprofit cleanup organizations on the planet. And even though it was difficult, they guaranteed us that for every single dollar we raise, there will be one less pound of plastic and trash in the ocean. And that's just bonkers. That literally means that for every one dollar donated, this much trash comes out of the ocean. And for five dollars, this much trash comes out of the ocean. To accomplish this, we have a three-prong approach, and we'll be cleaning up the beaches, rivers, and oceans across the world. Because trash on the beach ends up in the ocean, and the majority of trash in the rivers ends up there as well. So to clean the ocean, you gotta tackle all three. For the beaches and oceans, the best nonprofit, hands down, is the Ocean Conservancy. They're gonna use half the money we raise to organize massive volunteer beach cleanups, as well as go out to sea to clean up some of the existing trash. And then the other half of the money will go to the Ocean Cleanup and UN, and they're gonna focus on the rivers, because 80% of the plastic that flows to the ocean comes from only 1% of the rivers in the world. So to combat this, we'll be placing these trash-eating robots in the world's worst polluting rivers. So it can literally pick up trash 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We saw this working firsthand in the Dominican Republic, and it's just so cool. The goal of Team Seas is to remove 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean. Probably the craziest thing we've ever attempted. Which means we're trying to raise 30 million dollars by the end of the year. Which is 10 million dollars more than what we raised for Team Trees, and exactly why we need your help help. So I hope you join us in this massive project. The link to Team Seas will be in the description. Thank you. Let's see what happens in this one. Um, I guess the diet, huh? Um, Let's see. <clears throat> Hope you can hear my voice because I'm speaking low. Because oh, I wish I had more points. Hey, what's this thing? No? Huh. Oh, that would have been nice putting these here. Oh well. A uh, little baby, I think. Anyways, this is a nice calming game, so don't want to speak too loud and ruin the mood. Let's boost. And I'm running out of... Yeah, I got some more plant life though. That's good. Let's do more of these. Try to be careful. Oh, it's growing on its own. That's good. I did not realize it did that. So, let's see. 
Um, what else can I do? Starfish. Let's do... Look for a nice place to put that. Hmm. Try to, anyway. Maybe not. Mushroom. So, I guess... These are being nice places to put them. There we go. Oh, I need to put soil, don't I? Scores of fish, is that what that is? Not sure. At least it's multiplying pretty well. Let's do... let's see. I guess the conditions are not met yet. That's perfect, I guess. Um, hey, that's good. Thanks. Okay. Should have been putting these out all along, eh? Let's help. Hope that helps. Starfish, yay. Wonder if that'll be enough for those. Now let's do more fishes. There we go. I like that sound. Gorgeous game. I really appreciate it. Insufficient life points. Oh. Okay, so... What else can I do? <clears throat> I should spend more time figuring these things out. Plankton. Almost out of points again. go. Mm -hmm. Let's look and see about the boost again. Uh, can only do a little bit. There we go. Should have put plankton at the beginning, huh? 
Now I know. And now you know too. I wish there's a way to uh, zoom in and out. But that's a pretty good start for my very first um, ocean ecosystem. I'll play the demo again at some point and see if I can do better. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the game. And I'll make sure to look at some tips to do. And I'll see you later. Bye.